Hello to everyone today. My name is Sister Eleanor and I'm a member of the Teo Community of Interfaith Franciscans. Very happy to see all of you today. It's a very cold and uh, cloudy day today here in Philadelphia. And today we're going to uh, start our Feast of Advent. I'd like to say good morning to everyone who's logged in, or good evening, I should say, to everyone who's logged in. Uh, that is Brother Sean, Sister Sue, Sister Nancy. I'm very glad to see all of you here today. And I know there's a time difference, I think, for Sister Nancy. It's very early in the morning, I believe, out there. So um, I think you're out west, Sister Nancy, if I'm not mistaken. So now we have come to the beginning of Advent. And Brother Sean is having his Advent retreat tonight. So it's a very lovely time of year. And we have here, first of all, we're going to, we have our candle lit. But this candle, okay, this time, okay, this is a very tall candle. This is our Advent candle. As you see, it's purple. So for the first week of Advent, we light a purple candle okay in an advent wreath and this candle is a candle which symbolizes promise the four candles have names the one is promise the one is a uh, light there's love and then there's hope so as we light this candle and I've already lit it for sake of safety we're going to say this prayer Dear Heavenly Father, Mother God, as we begin this Advent season, teach us the true meaning of the Christmas season. Each time we light this candle, which is the candle of promise, help us to think about your promises to us. Amen. And we're going to say our peace prayer right now. <clears throat> Gracious God, we pray for peace in our communities this day. We commit to you all who work for peace and an end to tensions, and those who work to uphold law and justice. We pray for an end to fear and for comfort and support to those around us who suffer. We pray for calm in our streets and our cities, and that people may go about their lives in safety and in peace. In your mercy, hear our prayers now and always. Amen. And now I just want to play this song that I have here, which is the traditional O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. And it's sung by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. And it is in their, uh, their convent known as Ephesus.
Okay, dear ones, that is a beautiful rendition of Come O Come Emmanuel. And now we'll, we'll start our Vesper prayer for today, this first Sunday of Advent. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, our Teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now let us set our intentions today for a beautiful Advent, for an Advent of peace within us, of joy, and of hope. Our psalm is Psalm 110, and this speaks of the Messiah as King and Priest. The Antiphon is, Rejoice, O daughter of Zion! Shout for joy, daughter of Jerusalem! Alleluia! The Lord's Revelation to my Master Sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all of your foes. A prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, from the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Father, Mother, God, we ask you to give us both victory and peace. In Jesus the Christ, we are already seated always at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all of your saints who are our brothers and sisters in our heavenly homeland, as well as here with the saints on earth. And we pray, Rejoice, daughter of Zion. Shout for joy, daughter of Jerusalem. Alleluia. So what a beautiful way to start, to know that the Lord is with us. And also that we're praying with Mary, the Divine Feminine, as we shall in the a canticle of Mary in a little while. We're praying for her as she is full with child, full with the Lord Jesus at this time of year. And in so many faith traditions, this is the time that the birth of light occurs out of the darkness. So let us see that in our own lives, the birth of light out of any darkness that we may have. Now we pray for Psalm, we pray Psalm 114. And this just talks about the Israelites delivered from the bondage of Egypt. And it talks about the bondage that we are possibly in. We're all in some sort of bondage. We might be in bondage to, I mean this sounds funny, but we might be in bondage to eating bonbons every day. So, I mean, if there's some kind of bondage that maybe holds us back or holds us down or, or doesn't allow us to be who God has called us to be, which is the most beautiful point in your life that you can be at, to be where God has called you to be. So let us pray now in this psalm, all these are healing psalms, that we are going to, during this Advent, come closer to the vision that God has for us in our lives. And the antiphon is, Christ our King will come to us, the Lamb of God foretold by John. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple, and Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the sight, and the Jordan turned back on its course. The mountains <laughs> leapt like lamb, rams, and the hills like yearling sheep. Why was it, see, that you fled, that you turned back, Jordan, on your course, mountains that you leapt like rams, and hills like yearling sheep? Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, in the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool and flint into a spring of water. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, our Teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, ever-living mystery of unity and trinity, you gave life to the new Israel by birth from water and the Spirit, and made it a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a people set apart as your eternal possession. May all of us who have been called to walk in the splendor of the new light render you fitting service and adoration. And we pray, Christ our King will come to us, the Lamb of God foretold by John. I'm sorry, you can see the back parts of Chewy right now. He just jumped on me. And now we're praying the canticle from Revelation, which speaks of the wedding of the Lamb. The antiphon is, I'm coming soon, says the Lord. I will give to everyone the reward his deeds deserve. Alleluia. Salvation, glory, and honor and power belong to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Alleluia. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all you who worship him, great and small. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord, our all-powerful God, is King. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Glory to our Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I am coming soon, says the Lord. I will give to everyone the reward his deeds deserve. And now let us continue to listen to some words that Paul wrote to the Philippians many years ago. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again. Rejoice. Everyone should see how unselfish you are. The Lord is near. Dismiss all anxiety from your minds. Present your needs to God in every form of prayer and in petition, full of gratitude. Then God's own peace, which is beyond all understanding, will stand guard over your hearts and minds in Christ. So these are the words for now, to rejoice and to have gratitude and dismiss all anxiety from your minds because the Lord is always near to you. And even though other people would say, what are you doing rejoicing when things are not so good? What are you doing being happy or what are you doing doing this or that? As Paul says here, it's beyond all understanding. So when you're rejoicing in good times and in not so good times, it's beyond the understanding of most. But that is when the Lord is near to you, and the Lord is ever near in your hearts, granting you God's own peace. Our response is, Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love, and grant us your salvation, your mercy and love. Glory to our Father, Mother God, and to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show us, Lord, your mercy and your love. And now we praise God, and we thank God, yes, for our beloved pets. They are God's gift to all of us. And now we're going to pray with Mary now, the Canticle of Mary. Mary is worn out now. She's at the end of her pregnancy. But she's full of love and full of happiness and hope that the Redeemer of the world, the Cosmic Christ, is going to be born into the world to show everyone of all faiths how to live and what to do and how to get closer to being who we need to be in God's eyes. 
The antiphon is, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. Alleluia. And Mary says this. She says, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who revere him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He fills the hungry with good things and the rich he sends away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he remembers his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers and mothers, to Abraham and Sarah, and to their children forever. Glory to our Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus, who is our teacher, and to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. Alleluia. Now, dear ones, in this most auspicious time, we're beginning our intercessions and praying for one another now. So in the spirit of Advent, the spirit of hope and rejoicing, let us pray for one another and for our world. To Jesus Christ, who is the Redeemer, the way, the truth, and the life, let us make our humble prayer and say, Come and stay with us, Lord. Son of the Most High, your coming was announced to the Virgin Mary by Gabriel. Come and rule over your people forever. And we say, Come and stay with us, Lord. Holy One of God, in your presence, John the Baptist, leapt in Elizabeth, Mary's cousin's womb. Bring the joy of salvation to all this earth. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord. Jesus the Savior, the angel revealed your name to Joseph, who is Mary's husband and who is a just man. Come and save your people from themselves. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord. Light of the world from whom Simeon and all the just had waited, come and comfort us. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord. O rising sun that never sets, Zechariah foretold that you would visit us from above. Come and shine on those, all of us here, and all of us in the world who dwell in darkness and in any shadow of death. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord. With Brother Sean, we ask that you give Brother Sean inner strength to listen to the voice of God in his heart and lead everyone who, will, who God will bring to our Advent treat, retreat today, tonight. So we pray, dear Brother Sean, that you'll be strengthened, that Brother Rob will be strengthened, that all the electric problems will be okay and that everything will be good and we'll, we'll benefit, as we know we will, from your words inspired by the Holy Spirit as we begin our Advent journey. And it indeed is a journey. Every day now, from now on, is a special journey until Christmas. And we celebrate all of the festivals of light now. We celebrate Hanukkah, we celebrate Yule, we celebrate Christmas, and I'm sure there's many others that I don't know. So let us take our journey now. We ask, Lord, that you bless our journey. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord. With Brother Sean, <clears throat> we hold all those whose hearts you have guided to join Brother in the Advent retreat. We also pray that they too will be touched by the Holy Family en route to Bethlehem. And there will be special gifts given to everyone who comes to the retreat special blessings and special gifts that they may truly follow the footsteps of that holy family to Bethlehem and we pray come and stay with us Lord 
We pray for each and every person here today that all of us may be blessed with your love and your peace and your abundant blessings. We pray for our world, our Earth Mother Gaia, in this beautiful season. May she also be, come to fruition as God sees her to be. In the beauty and glory of this world, we thank you, Lord, for everything that you have given us. We thank you for the abundance. We thank you for this beautiful season. We thank you for the light. We thank you also for the darkness. And we pray, come and stay with us, Lord. We pray for all of those who are sick. May they have joy and peace, no matter what circumstances they are in. And Lord, heal them now. Heal everyone of their sicknesses. Heal them of everything that deters them from you. And we pray, come and stay with us, Lord. We also hold our Franciscan family, especially Brother Brian and Sister Nancy, and with myself and Sister Elizabeth, Sue, Sisters Heather, Elaine, and Miriam. And we praise and thank you, Lord, for all of your blessings. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord. And also we praise and thank you for Sister Miriam, who even as we speak is now working on <clears throat> the... Um, the newsletter. Um, her cutoff time for submissions was November 27th, but I'm sure if you had something else you could share with her, you could put that in the newsletter as well. She might be able to do that. So we praise and thank you for Sister Miriam and all her hard work that she does every month. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord. With Sue, we pray for Mary, Pat, Sue, and Vi. And we pray for God's blessings to go upon all of these women and to just fill them to overflowing with the gifts of the Spirit. We pray for peace and goodness to just inflow into them right now and to all their situations and everybody associated with those situations. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord. We praise and thank you, O Father, Mother, God, for all the family that is here today. To strengthen us and fill us with goodness and rejoicing. There's so many sorrows in the world, but we choose to look at the sorrows with light, and we choose to look at these sorrows with rejoicing, so that the light will crowd out the darkness, especially during this holy season. And we pray, come and stay with us, Lord. We pray for all of those who may be undergoing any kind of turbulent weather, for all of you in the UK that are having gale force winds and cold, for everybody here in the United States who is having any kind of struggle with snow or any kind of struggle with cold or anything else, drought or anything else through here and throughout the world, just give us the necessities of life, Lord. Always stay with us. <clears throat> Always help us to know that you are with us every day and every step of the way. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord. And now, dear ones, in the silence of your hearts, offer to God your petitions and offer to God everything that is within you. And listen to the word of God come into you now. And we pray, come and stay with us, Lord. With Brother Sean, we also pray for the elderly alone here who are frightened, especially with the power cuts and winds as we hold them in prayer. Yes, we pray for all of the people in the area that Brother Sean is in, in the northwest of England, and anybody else in the UK who is undergoing the same thing. We praise and thank you, Lord, that you will strengthen them and also protect them. You protect everyone. We praise and thank you for that, for the protection that you give right now. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord, and stay with them, Lord, especially. We pray with Brother Sean for the poor farmers and their flocks of sheep on the hills where there is now snow. We ask that the Lord give them the strength. 
The farmers love, I'm sure, their, their life and their sheep and love what they're doing. We ask you, Lord, just for them to not struggle so much, but to take joy and peace in, in the fact that they have the sheep and that they are shepherding them on the hills and there's all good and all positive things that surround their lives and their occupation and the sheep. We praise and thank you, Lord, for the shepherds, for the farmers, for everyone who cares for the land and all the animals that are with them. And we say, come and stay with us, Lord. We pray for the victims and families in Colorado Springs after the shootings yesterday. We pray for the gun lobby to be challenged in the United States and to support President Obama. I did not listen to the news yesterday, did not know that there were shootings. I sometimes don't listen to the news. So we just pray for an end to violence, Lord, that this season you will come to the United States and to any place else that is filled with violence and you will just influence all of us to live in peace and harmony and know that there's another way besides violence to deal with issues and we say come and stay with us Lord and now together let us pray the Our Father Mother God and let us pray in joy and peace. Lord, as our King of Peace, touch all of our hearts to continue to be ambassadors of peace everywhere. We pray this with Brother Sean. And we say, Our Father, Mother God, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, and yours is the glory, now and forever. Amen. Our concluding prayer. Grant your faithful ones, we pray, Almighty God, to resolve to run forth to meet the Christ with righteous deeds at his coming so that gathered at his right hand we may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom both here and in the, the life to come we ask this through our lord the jesus the christ who is your son who lives and reigns with you in the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen may the lord bless us and protect us from every evil and bring us to everlasting life amen and now for our first Advent blessing. May the spirit of Advent, which is peace, and the gladness of Advent, which is hope, and the adoration that leads us to Christmas, which is joy, and the heart of Advent, which is love, be yours today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Thank you again for being with us. We're going to blow out our Advent candle until next time. And hopefully you can be with us again for prayer. And hopefully you can tune in to be with Brother Sean at 8 p.m. GMT on the Doves for Peace channel and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I don't know what that would be for Sister Nancy. I think it's three hours difference. So at any rate, we praise God and thank God for what is about to happen, for the goodness that will come into our lives through this retreat. We thank you for being here today, and as usual, namaste.